Hi, Alex from Silverheart Tribe. How are you all doing today? Hope you're good. So today is International Women's Day, so I thought I'd hop on to YouTube. Obviously, I've had this channel for a while, but I haven't really used it. Most of my followers have been on Facebook and Instagram, but I thought, you know what? This is time to change. It's time to step, step up. More to the point, and this is really important, sometimes you have to get outside your comfort zone to grow. So instead of just preaching a lesson, I'm actually doing what I've been telling everybody else to do, which is get outside my comfort zone and do something different. So those of you who don't know me, I was and I still am a reflexologist, crystal therapist, Reiki master, um, and I work with predominantly older ladies. Yes, because this is naturally white hair. I work with older ladies, helping them build their confidence and up their self image. And I help people with mindset hacks because most of the people you see on YouTube these days talking about mindset, talking about um, self image and talking about manifesting and mindset, they're all young. And the thing is, just because you're older doesn't mean to say you can't have dreams and you can't realise them. And that is one of the things I wanted to talk about today. It's International Women's Day. And I think every day we should empower women to empower women. But I also think we should empower everybody else too. Why? Because we only have one shot at this life at this particular moment in time. I'll leave it there with that. But... We only have one shot. This is not a rehearsal. So the best thing for you to do is embrace your life and make the best of it that you can. Stop taking time out every single day to endlessly look at news feeds or diet on the news. We do. We sit there and we absorb all the sh news, the bad news, the grumpy news. But when do you ever take time out and stand out in nature and be thankful and grateful for everything around you? Last last evening, I went outside and I was listening to the gold, a little flock of goldfinches swimming around. It is flying around swimming. That's bad. But I was in the moment because I wanted to be. We've just had the full moon and we know there's a huge energy shift going on. But one of the big things with YouTube is people that talk about manifesting, people that talk about mindset that are predominantly younger. And I want to reach out to the older generation and say it's never you're never too old and it's never too late. How do I know? because I am living proof. I'm going to admit to being 58, 60 is only 18 months off, which sounds ridiculous because I remember when I was a teenager and my mum, my grandma was in her 60s, it seemed ancient, but I don't feel ancient. And the thing is, because we have a greater life expectancy now and because we have better, in theory, better nutrition, um, more exercise and a better standard of living, we are living longer. So there is nothing stopping you in your 50s, 60s, 70s and beyond actually living your best life. One of the most overused phrases on the Internet, living your best life. But it is true. As my close friend recently pointed out, who I went to school with, she said, I'm getting ready and slowing down because I'm getting ready to retire. She said, you're all fired up and you are growing. Why? Because it's taken me 58 years to get this life's experience to be able to pass it on. And I also know what I teach actually works. So what we're going to look at over the next few weeks is we're going to look at your mindset. We're going to look at your self-image. And self-image isn't about what you look like on the outside. It's how you feel about yourself on the inside. And I know from my own self-image in the past, with teeth like this is difficult, but with my own self-image in the past, it has been incredibly difficult for me to believe in myself and everything that I can possibly do. So I set myself some big goals last year and one of them was to go up Ben Nevis, which when you live in America or in Europe, maybe three and a half, four thousand, just over 4,000 feet isn't a high mountain. But for somebody who's got dodgy knees and didn't have a belief in herself to get anywhere near the top like I did was an achievement. I look back at the things I've done in my life and I've raced sidecars. I've been a sales rep in the motorcycle industry. Um, I can know my way around an engine. I can, I could sort of rebuild an engine and I was incredibly bad at welding but at least I tried. The thing is we don't give ourselves credit for what we can do and as women in particular we never give ourselves credit for everything that we achieve because we're too busy doing stuff for other people and in fact we'll give those other people more of us than we give ourselves. And one of the hardest lessons you can learn ladies and gentlemen and anybody in between is this. The most important person in your life is you. If you are caring for other family members or relatives or friends, 
if you're not 100% yourself, how can you give to anybody else? And that is my biggest thing for today is remember you are your most important person. Give yourself time out, be your biggest cheerleader, but remember that you need to rest and recuperate just as much as everybody else. So I want you to write down the best things about you. And that sounds easy, but then when you sit down, you'll go, well, I don't like this and I can't do this and I can't do that and I can't and I haven't got this. It's not about what you haven't got. It is about what you have got because you are amazing and you can achieve anything you want. So I'll speak tomorrow and I'll see, speak to you soon. Bye.